Greetings, I'm Linda Pence-Gunter with Beyond Nuclear and this is the update. We are now just four countries away from the Treaty on the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons achieving the 50 necessary ratifications. When that happens, likely any day now, the treaty will become law 90 days later. The treaty prohibits those countries that ratified it from developing, testing, producing, manufacturing, transferring, possessing, stockpiling, using or threatening to use nuclear weapons or allowing nuclear weapons to be stationed on their territory. The treaty also prohibits those countries from assisting, encouraging or inducing anyone to engage in any of these activities. But what of the nine nuclear weapon states, cynics ask? They won't sign or ratify the treaty, so what good is it? Firstly, the treaty will stigmatize those countries who continue to cling to nuclear weapons of mass destruction. Nuclear weapon countries will be outlaws and pariahs, not only in the view of the rest of the world, but by law. And the treaty may put pressure on those countries to at least abide by it, even if they never sign it. That's what happened with the treaty to ban landmines. The US never signed, but it no longer uses landmines. The treaty makes nuclear disarmament the way forward, the norm. It acknowledges and makes law what most of the world really wants. So even though its ratification won't mean the end of nuclear weapons overnight, it's a crucial and hard won first step and one we should welcome and celebrate. As Nobel Peace Prize winning Hibakusha Setsuko Thurlow says, echoing the words she heard at 13 as she crawled from the rubble of Hiroshima, don't give up, keep pushing, see the light, crawl towards it. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.